Batir Jakumbayev versus Subriel Matias. If you guys didn't know, they recently had the weigh-ins and both fighters made weight with Matias weighing in at 139.6 pounds and Jakumbayev weighing in at 139.8 pounds. To those who don't know yet, this fight's taking place in the undercard of Obali versus Donaire this weekend, this Saturday on the 29th of May, May 29, 2021, live on Showtime starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Pacific Time at the Dignity Health Sports Park in California. You don't want to miss it. This fight between Matias and Jakumbayev will be the co-feature of the co-main event. It's a fight you don't want to miss. This fight might steal the show. There's a very good chance that this fight will steal the show. It's going to be an action-packed fight, in my opinion. And I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, this fight is an IBF, apparently an IBF title eliminator fight. Um, yeah, so the winner of this fight will be the mandatory challenger for the IBF junior welterweight title at 140 pounds. And that champion is Josh Taylor. Uh, looking at the rankings, I mean, obviously it needs to be updated because Josh Taylor holds all the belts now. He now holds the WBC, WBA, IBF, and WBO belts. But uh, yeah, the winner of this fight, I guess, will be ranked number one. Um, as we speak, Subriel Matias is number seven, and Jakumbayev is number eight. So, oh, and I think uh, Luis Ritson, to my understanding, it seems like Matias... Uh, I've been told by one of you guys, Matias and Jukumbayab will be fighting each other. And Ritson and Ponce, which was recently announced, also will be fighting each other. So the winner of this fight between Matias and Jukumbayab will be fighting the winner of Ritson versus Ponce. So, um, so yeah, that's how I think that's how I understand it. It's like a little mini tournament to see who will be the number one contender uh, for the IBF title um, at 140 pounds. So anyway... Uh, looking at some of your comments, shout out to everybody who commented on my prediction video. Shout out to Full Auto, Earthquake, uh, Love for Peace, yeah, DL. Oh man, a lot of people commented. Ricardi Martinez, Super Baruka Warrior, uh, Josin Cruz, Asad R, Josin Cruz, Tony the Tiger T. Shout out to everybody who commented on my prediction video. Let's go over some comments. Uh, Full Auto said, I got Matias by round. TKO, Progress hiding. I don't know about Progray hiding, man. I, I'm pretty sure Progray is just waiting for, you know, the right paycheck, I feel like. I'm sure if he had the right paycheck, he'd fight Matias. Um, Earthquake said, but uh, Bartesian Boxes. Um, am I saying it's right? Bartesian Jakumbayev. Jakumbayev. But anyway, uh, Boxes his head off and probably stops him. Matias has slow feet and poor defense. Bartizan too slick for him. That, that, that would be something to see, man. I'd I don't know, that would be pretty interesting to see. It's not going to be an easy fight for both guys. Love for Peace said, I got Subriel Matias. This guy's a beast. When he's in his A game, relentless, aggressive fighter, and extremely dangerous puncher. I, I'm, I agree with the dangerous fighter, man. He's, he's a very dangerous puncher. He's a very dangerous puncher, no doubt about it. He, he hurts people. And if he can hurt... Jakumbayev in this fight. Jakumbayev is in for a tough night. But if Jakumbayev can take his punches, ooh, we might be see, seeing something different. Uh, yeah, Dial said the winner of this fight will face the winner between... Yeah, here's what I was talking about. Between Luis Ritson versus uh, Ponce, the winner of this mini tournament will become the number one IBF contender. So yeah, shout out to yeah, Dial for uh, commenting this. So if you guys don't know, Luis Ritson versus Ponce recently got announced by Eddie Hearn in Matchroom. Uh, I'll make another video about that. But yeah, it seems like the winner of this fight will fight the winner of that fight. Ricardo Martinez said, this is a 50-50 fight. Batir is a better fighter than, than Petros. Beating Batir will prove Matias' loss, but just an off. Batir's loss was just an off night. Look a lot sharper and stronger in his last fight against Hawkins. And yeah, I agree. I, I agree about the... I don't know what happened in that loss where Matias lost. That was quite a shocker. Um... You know, if if Matias loses this fight, then he's definitely going to get a big setback. Super Baruka Boricua. Boricua. Oh my goodness, I can't I can't pronounce stuff right now. Uh, Super Borica, Boricua Warrior said, Subriel Martinez doesn't care about losing anymore. He said in an interview, if Mr. Kumpayev knocks Subriel out, Subriel is going to war. I predict a potential fight of the year. Um, like I said, man, this fight might steal the show. This fight might steal the show. So... You don't want to miss it. Tune into Showtime. I'll be at work. So, uh, sucks, man. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm getting married next month, so I can't take any leave at the moment. But 
but yeah, it's uh, sucks out. Uh, I mean, I'll, obviously, I'll watch it, but I'll, I'll make a video about it uh, the next day, tomorrow. Oh, yeah, the, the next day after the event's all over. Uh, Supreme Matias is no joke. He fights with relentless pressure and hits you everywhere with power, nonstop offense. I agree. I agree. I'm sure we all know Miguel Vasquez beat Ritson, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, Ritson lost that fight, man. I don't know. Ritson's just, he got a gift decision there. I can actually see Sobrio giving Jose Ramirez hell, maybe beat him as well. I don't know, man. I, I think Jose Ramirez beats Matias right now, in my opinion, right now. So, yeah, Tony the Tiger is going for, uh, I don't know who he's going for, actually. But uh, a lot of people are picking Matias to win. Um, but it seems like Jakun Bayab is being underrated here. I don't know. Maybe I'm underrating him too. I mean, we'll find out tomorrow, right? I mean, we'll find out this weekend. So we shall see. Honestly, I'm just looking forward to a great night of boxing, a great card, great event. Looking forward to seeing this main car main event as well. And, uh, you know, may the best man win. May the best man. Hopefully, hopefully it does still show because, you know, why not, right? So anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.